got a lot of good music coming up. I'm gonna be switching up this playlist today. I'm going in because it's my birthday. I got to party and get this thing going. You go, I go, you stay, I stay. One song to sing. Eight hundred four miles. Pretty much seven hundred to go to hit that fifteen hundred. A lot of you guys are commenting on the channel. I want to see you do a pull, pull, record a pull. You don't think I want to? I'm I'm waiting patiently to hit that fifteen hundred. The farthest I've gone is five five thousand RPM, and uh, it's already a lot of fun right there. Like the power band on the M3, the V6, the inline six turbo is like, it's crazy, it feels good. But yeah, I'm more, seems like you guys are more excited to, to for me to get on it than me, but I'm pretty damn excited. I got 700 more miles and uh, just do the math. I've had the car for like, I think six weeks. I literally drive like two miles a day. And uh, lately I haven't been having to go out of town or anything. Wow, it's dark. There you go. But um, I'm, I'm on the way to the campus. We got a leg day today. I'm kind of excited about that. And then tomorrow, Max and the whole ape team will be here tomorrow morning. I think we're going to hit a push day. I'm excited. I'm excited to meet Max and all the ape guys in person. It's going to be a lot of fun. They're going to be here for a while, so uh, we're going to get some stuff planned. We're going to have a, a lot of footage for you guys on both channels, my channel and um, Max's channel. Um, what else, what else? What else did I want to tell you guys? Oh, yeah. So we officially announced that we're gonna have a meetup at the campus Saturday, this Saturday, from two to six p.m. Um, I announced it on Instagram, so check out that flyer, the details are on there. Supposed to say I'm tired. If that girl from West Virginia came up in conditions that I could survive with the war came back at my desk, guys. Let me sit sit you guys down. You're sitting on my Starbucks cup. Just want to share a, a random thought with you guys. You guys see me sit here at my desk, you see me get to the campus, you see me go to the campus, but um to me. Getting to my desk is exciting every day to me. I'm happy, I'm excited to get to my, to, to my, get to my workplace, get to my office, get to my desk. And uh, I'm blessed to say that I, I get to do what I love. And I'm blessed to say that I get to be at a, in a place that I built. I built this office, I painted these, I got these walls painted, I didn't paint them, but I, I chose the paint on the walls, I chose my furniture, I I did everything in here with Tankster's help. You know, we did this, my vision came true, and I work for myself, I'm self-employed, and yeah, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to say that I'm my own boss, and I get excited to go to work. I get excited to get ready at home, take a shower, get ready, and, and come over here and get to my desk and tell myself, say to myself, this is, I built this. I, this is my desk. You know, it's not a random company's desk. It's not my employer's desk. It's my desk. And uh, I love it. I get to do what I love. And don't get me wrong, it, was, it, it has not been easy these past five, six years getting to where I am now. It's taken some sacrifice, it's taken some discipline, it's taken consistency, it's taken dedication. So, for my new subscribers that haven't watched my journey, watched me from day one on YouTube, like, even, even day one on YouTube, it's like, it, it didn't... It, it didn't 
show my journey from way back when I was competing in the MPC or way back when I was, you know, working other jobs. So for my new subs, don't jump to conclusions. Don't think I have daddy's money. My, my family is rich because they're not. Okay, my dad, my mom, they're both still working. And I'm working to have my mom and dad not working. That's my goal. They, they have been, they've always been supportive of what, I, what I'm doing or what I've done um, through the thick and thin, through my, my fuck ups, through my, my, my accomplishments. So there's been a couple of you guys commenting, okay, daddy's money. I'm a grown ass man. I'm, I'll be 32 this year, okay, in October. I have three kids. I'm married. I've been married twice. And I have bills. See, like all these other guys, kids, YouTubers, I'm, I have a family. I have a lot more responsibility. I'm older. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so there's more pressure. There's more people relying on me to be successful, to succeed, to provide. And I love that pressure. Okay. I don't know where I'm going with this, but... It was just a thought of me getting to my desk and being excited, being excited to turn on my computer, being excited to check my emails, being excited to just settle in, put my stuff down. You know, I have like a little routine. I put my backpack here. I put my camera bag here. My gym bag stays here. My water's right there. Um, I love it. Okay, so the lesson that I want to get out there, the point I'm saying this is if I can do it, you guys can do it, especially if you're younger, okay? I didn't have the right mentality until I was like 25, 26 when I had my first child and I was forced to. So my advice to you, the younger generation, younger kids watching this channel is focus on changing your mentality now. Ask yourself, where are you going to be? three, five, ten years from now doing what you're doing now. If it's not, if your actions aren't benefiting you or they're not leading to success or you're not planting seeds, then you're going to have to rethink what you're doing. Okay? I didn't have anybody to tell me this. Um, my dad did, but, you know, I was a stubborn kid. I never knew. I never thought that he was, you know, telling me the right things. I was very stubborn when I was a child, when I was a kid. But um, now... Today, I'm like, thank you, Dad. You were right. I was on the wrong path. And you were pushing me in the right direction. I was just stubborn. Okay? My dad never handed me money. He always taught me the value of hard work. And that's one lesson that, that I couldn't pick up right away, but now I learn it. Now I see it. Hard work pays off, and you're not going to get anywhere without hard work and dedication. You get what you put in. All right, so I'm going to enjoy being at my desk because I've earned it. Nothing was handed to me, okay? And if I can do it, you guys can too. You, could just, you just have to start now. You have to change your mentality. You have to look at success as an obligation, a duty to yourself, your family, your friends, whoever's around you work at it and I guarantee you you start changing your mentality start changing your actions for the better for the positive and success will come for you leg day attire I'm rocking the new socks from Mark Bell the slingshot socks they're pretty cool they have like that the the Jordan um, concrete look and they're pretty comfy they feel like Nike socks, really thick, and I like thick socks for uh, leg day. I like thick socks with the Romelios and uh, and the Reebok Power Shoes. So I, I recommend them. Check them out. They look clean, very clean. Um, yeah, so if you guys didn't catch that me, Tankster, Sonia, we wear 
the the slippers, the slip-ons on leg days, and I just we've just me and Texter just both rock them on uh, throughout the whole day in the office. That's just another benefit of uh, working for yourself. No uniforms, as long as it's tasteful. Like I wouldn't want Texter coming in on, in like a freaking um, suit or a polo shirt. Just doesn't match the environment, right? Like, fitness is my life, and fitness. The gym, this this is my job. So, put it together, my older guys, my older subs, I've been in the game, in the game for a while, they know that, you know, my fitness gear, shoes, clothes, um, even electronics, they're all business write-offs. So that's one thing that's great about being in the fitness industry. Um and being self-employed and actually doing your taxes the legit way you know all this stuff write-offs and it, it's right I mean I use it for business my clothes my, my 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 image my uniform whatever and then like stuff that I buy like electronics the camera this camera's a write-off it was Probably one of the best investments that I've I've made for the channel, for my business in general. That's a write off. My phone is a write off. Um, supplements are write off. Just one thing that I that that I, I can't write off is food, um, like groceries. But going out to eat, that's those are write offs. All right. So, but kids, write offs don't mean free money. You still have to make the money to have write-offs you know it's not like the money comes back but they go they go in favor of business expenses so at the end of the year it makes your taxes look better for you keep it simple but we're gonna hit a the leg session around two I told Tung and Tankster two Tankster's off to his day off today so I'm thinking a pre-workout meal around noon I think I'm gonna get uh, one of the, another pollo bowl. Oh, this. <laughs> Say what's up to YouTube. Say what's up YouTube. There's Otis. <laughs> Say what's up YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> the wifey is here dropping off some uh, El Pollo Loco for me. Hey. Where are you going? Did you get some food too? No? <laughs> Did you get her something too? No. Thank you. See you later. Have fun at the mall. Bye, Riley. Love you. Bye. Love you. <laughs> yes. El Pollo Loco Gains. Got my Pollo Bowl all mixed together, looking pretty. I'm gonna have this and then one corn tortilla. And I'm chilling watching Travi's uh, vlog from yesterday while he was here. Check it out. Check out his channel. Her channels. All right, so I ended up going for two tortillas. I forgot that I bumped up my carbs 50 grams, so I can I can fit it in. So this is a good high carb meal, medium fat, so I should be good for this workout. And it's only 11:40. We're gonna hit legs at two, so I should feel good. I'm gonna start sipping on my Peptest bulk. Tankster and Toon should be here any minute now. Um, we changed the time to uh, 1.15-ish. Usually I have the new pump to the dome before I start sipping on the pep test, but let's change it up. I usually have water in hand, but...
weight today? 141. So you're back down, you're down like, like three pounds from yesterday? Yeah. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, and if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. Squat time. So I got a uh, tune and tankster. Hit it with me. We're going to do some triples. Me, me and Tune are going to hit 315. Next one, you doing? 225. Just some easy triples. Uh, we are just kind of auto regulating this workout. We want to save some juice for Saturday. Probably five sets of triples. feels like 365. I'm really just, my leverages are changing as I'm getting leaner. My knees feel brittle. It's part of the cutting game. So I don't want to um, train with anything lighter than 315 for triples. So that's what we're hitting. Five sets of triples. So a total of 15 reps. So volume is pretty decent still. We're doing about five minutes in between sets. It's about perfect for three people. All right, sumo. We're gonna do five sets of three. Hopefully, it's the RP like five. Bump it down the intensity. Tanks is working with 225, and I think main tune are gonna stick with 315. Scratch that, we're gonna do 325, so we're just throwing on a 25 on top of the 275. Did I say you were doing 225? If I did, he takes it was working with 275. Alright, we're moving on to the GHR, the glute cam raise machine. 
probably do three or four sets on this, and then finish it off with calves, seated calf raise. Good workout, by the way. Um, just enough volume, just enough work. But I already started opening this because I didn't really know who it was from. But this is from my boy JR from Liftwell, owner of Liftwell. Some of his uh, gear, new designs. Gains a holic. Another Gains a holic. This is a medium. Extra small. On the shirt. I think this is a girl's tank. Yep. It's like a shorter one. Look well. Supply Co. Shirts. I think that's their OG um, style logo. Has it on the sleeve too. Lift well. Another one. Medium. What's this? Wristbands. Stickers. This is our Mickey um, Gaines sticker logo. It's cool. So he's a graphic designer, JR. He's a DJ. He's a good friend of mine. And uh, he's the one that actually designed my, my TLC logo. So I might as well tell you guys what that means. So the TLC logo is pretty much a guy like this. It's not necessarily me. Show, show it to him on there. Tune has a freaking limited edition cotton shorts that we put out a while back. Limited. So, yeah. right, so it's just a guy like this, okay? Originally, it's not me. It's just anybody that, that wants to motivate, inspire, educate. Okay, he's just down to business. He's ready. His arms crossed. Sit. Simple. With no head on the top, though. He has a crop top head. Yeah, flat top. <laughs> flat top. There you go again. Flat top. <laughs> Also from JR. What's in here? Is it a cup? A freaking mug. They put out a mug. This is clean. It says lift well on the front. And then work more, bitch less. That's nice. We gotta get a coffee machine here in the winter. I'm gonna get a curate. Put it in the fridge, hot tub, maybe just in here for us. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting a fridge too. Yeah, I was going to tell you that earlier. I was like, maybe you should, you should get a fridge in here. I think right there. I just don't want yeah. it to get too cluttered in here. But, all right, see you guys in the next clip. All right, one more package. Very excited for this one. Gumaro, you see the tape. Anyways, take good care of me. Separate boxes. Very clever. They just tape them together. Yeah, the new colorways. The blue one. And I'm guessing the gray one. 
or more black. Let's see, dun, dun, dun. yeah, the gray ones. Honestly, guys, these are the best, best quality shakers out on the market. They're leak proof. That's the main thing. That's the main reason I like them is they don't leak. I've tested them. And they're just really cool. Story pre workout, your protein in there, you know, for later, and you can still sip on your water. I use this when I'm in my car because I don't bring this thing. It fits in my, my, my cup holder. And, uh,. Yeah, this thing is, this one's too tall. Straw like digs at my, my interior. So that's it. All right, so Toon just left, but I am gonna give Toon the blue one because I got two pairs of each, or a pair. Yeah, two pairs. Two pairs, <laughs> two of each color. And then Tankster's gonna take the smoke one or the gray one. You better catch it. You go, I go, you stay, I stay, one song, you sing.